Okay, so this um, question asks us to solve um, the uh, equ uh, quadratic equation. Now, if this comes up in the calculator paper, you can use the quadratic formula, but I'm not going to use the quadratic formula. I'm going to do this by factorising, and I'm going to assume that either you've forgotten what the quadratic formula is, um, or it asks you explicitly to um, use factorising, um, or it comes up in the non-calculator paper. Um, so, uh, first thing I need to do is factorise it. So, I'm just going to write out the question again so I can just show it a little bit easier. Now, the method to factorise it, there are different methods out there, but the method I use is I times these together, and I'm going to put my answer over here. So 3 times 12 is going to be 36. And what I'm going to do is write factor pairs of 36. And the factors I'm looking for will add together to make the 20 here. So I want to make that 20. So 1 and 36 isn't going to work. Um, we could try 6 and 6. Well, that's going to equal 12. Um, however, 2 and 18, uh, if we add them together, they get to 20. So that's the right ones. Those two are wrong. Um, next step is I need to split that 20x up into the 2 and the 18. So I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to split that 20x. Instead of 20x, I'm going to write plus 18x plus 2x plus 12 equals 0. Okay, now for this bit, I'm only focusing on the first bit and the second bit separately. So I'm going to look at factorising them linearly. Okay, So I'm looking for something that goes into 3x squared and 18x. Well, definitely a 3 can come out of both of those, or divide out of both of those, and an x. So 3x squared divided by 3x is just going to be x. 18x divided by 3x, well 18 divided by 3 is 6, and x divided by x is just 1, so 6 times 1 is just 6. And then same thing again, so that's going to be 2 on the outside, and x plus 6. Now the bracket here needs to be repeating. If it doesn't repeat, then you've made a mistake. So that's a kind of hint to go back and check your working out. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the things on the outside of the brackets, and we're going to make a bracket with them. So 3x plus 2, which are the two underlined green bits. And we're just going to write down the repeating bracket once. And that's going to be our second bracket. OK, so what we know with quadratics is we can get each of the brackets, if, as long as they equal 0, we can get each of the brackets to equal 0, and that will give us our solutions. So we're going to do 3x plus 2 first. So 3x plus 2, and we're going to equal that to 0. Put our lines down. So we're going to take away do both sides. 3x equals minus 2, and then we're going to divide by 3 both sides. Let's extend my lines a little bit. So x equals minus 2 thirds. And we're going to do the same with this one, slightly easier. Because all we need to do is take away 6 from both sides. So our two solutions. Now it says that to us to round our answer to two decimal places. So the first one we don't need to, it's just minus 6. And the next one, well, two-thirds is 0 0.6 recurring. So that's going to be minus 0 0.6 to two decimal places.